today's Sims 4 build challenge, we're going to be renovating the apartments in San Mishuno using a random color and a random aesthetic. This challenge has proven to be difficult because aesthetics have certain colors associated with them. But what if the colors in question are changed? We'll be using these wheels here. One of them has a whole bunch of different aesthetics on it, and the other one has a whole bunch of different colors on it from the Sims 4 color filter. You might notice that some of the colors here are missing though. That's because I've already done two other parts to this video, which I'll link link down below if you want to check that out. It's not really necessary to watch those ones before watching this one, but that's why some of the colors are missing. I've also added a few new aesthetics to this wheel from the last time that we did this, and these are the apartments we're going to be renovating today. We're going to be doing this entire left side, so there's actually two over here, and I think we're going to start down below with this one. So this is what the apartment looks like before we're renovating it. In typical EA fashion, it's like very dark. We've got our kitchen over here. Again, the lighting in that corner is non-existent a living room to the back. We've got a bedroom here with a massive saucer light right there. And over to this side, we have just one little bathroom there. So I'm going to delete all of the objects in here. Just going to click and hold with the hammer tool. I don't hate the layout, so I'm going to keep that. And again, a reminder here, we can't get rid of any of these windows or this weird like landlord thing. The landlord has one rule. The historical plaque dedicated to a famous former resident can never be removed or sold. Okay. I am so sick of landlords, but okay. We're going to come back to the here and spin to see what aesthetic we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna do a preppy apartment. Should be easy enough. And we're gonna spin to see what color we're gonna get. We get light brown. All right. So generally when we think of like a preppy home aesthetic, I would think of like pinks, blues, very like light colors. Light brown might not be too difficult for us. We're gonna be seeing a lot of white. Honestly, maybe a little bit of beige in there too. Gold. I think we can pull this off. Okay. First thing I'm gonna be doing is adding in the lighting. We're gonna brighten this place up a bit and we're gonna get our light brown color filter on. I'm gonna have to be careful with this because I'm already seeing like some of these are not accurate. Obviously it's the Sims 4 filters, but I think any of these like beige flooring options are gonna be safe. For our wallpaper for the main room, we could maybe get away with something like that or even just one of these basic ones for now. For our bathroom door, I'm gonna use this one here from Dream Home Decorator. Maybe over here, we'll keep it the same for the bedroom door. And I think I wanna start off here with the living room. So as a reminder here, I'm allowed to use some colors that stray from like the light brown. It's not going to be a solid color apartment as long as the main focus is whatever we've rolled for. So I'm starting off over here on this wall and I'm thinking I'm going to put a gallery wall above these like couch slash chair things that I'm putting. Never use these so it might be a risk. They're from City Living and I've already gone and downloaded some art here. This is from Sensational 2 on the gallery. I wanted to find some like fashion art, something that was like kind of fitting the theme a little bit. We can maybe add like a mirror to the the gallery wall somewhere. So we've got our art all on there and let's maybe add some lighting to it. Maybe we can use one of these lamps here from Discover University. For our curtains, we shouldn't really have a problem finding like the right color here. We can just use these ones. They're nice and sheer. I need to cover that up somehow. Maybe we can put like a bookshelf there. Like maybe we do a ceiling height one right in between there and then we can fill all of that up with clutter. And we're going for a very stylish prep. So I'm going to add like clothing items, a watch maybe. I'm going for like very pretty. Oh, we could do nail polish there. I feel like bows could be really preppy. So I'm trying to figure out a way to like incorporate them in there. Like maybe just putting them at the bottom of that mirror like that. I'm adding a coffee table there with this poof from cats and dogs. And I haven't decided if I want to add like a divider there or not. If I want to put like a TV. So I'm thinking for now we're going to leave it and I'm going to turn around and do my dining room next. This shouldn't be too hard. A lot of the swatches here are going to be that light brown. I actually really like some of these base game ones. So maybe we could do like maybe one of these. And the chair Chairs I had in mind were actually these ones here from high school years. On there, I think I'm going to use this here with like the flower and the candles. And the rug I wanted to put underneath was this one here. It's giving off pinky. This whole thing is ending up very like sandy color scheme. I feel like that like really sandy pink is complementing the light brown a lot. And we're going to pull this whole thing together in the back here with our kitchen. For my counters, I'm using these ones here from Dream Home Decorator. I'm still debating on that fridge there, but I do think I have room to make an island. So we should even be able to bring this out a little bit. We'll do sink over there. My oven's gonna go here. And for my cabinets, I've been loving mismatching them lately, especially with these ones here from Parenthood with like the window up there. We gotta move that lighting out a little bit so it really like shows it off. But I just think these give such a nice compliment with like a mismatching counter. And for my chairs in the back, I'm gonna try and match them to the dining table we've got. So just using those ones there from base game. We definitely need more flowers in here. So I'm gonna just add that over there as clutter. So this is what my kitchen is looking like so far. I feel like I'm missing something so I'm going to 
try and do like mirrors here as a backsplash. This can be hit or miss. It either looks really good when I do it or I don't like it at all. So I'm just gonna like raise these up, match them up so that they're kind of like getting rid of those lines in between. And these are just base game mirrors too. There, I feel like that looks so cool with like the reflection from the window coming in back there. I'm adding a little bit more clutter down here. Like I wanna add some shoes at the front door. This sim is clearly very invested in fashion. Maybe they can be a fashion designer or like an artist or something, but we're definitely gonna reflect that when we go into the bedroom. Again, I can't change this dark brown door, but maybe at the front here, it would be cute if we built up like a walk-in closet. Look at all the paintings I've downloaded over here. Maybe even if we put it on a diagonal, maybe we bring the wall out like that, add an archway on there, and our clothes can just go in here. I don't know, maybe it looks kind of cool like that. I like the archway from high school years. Maybe we just need a little bit more clutter in there to like fill up the space. And there we go. I think that looks cool. I really like our closet now. Our front door area looking cute. We've got our kitchen and dining. And in the background, we have our living room back here as well. So I think we should probably do the bathroom before we go in anywhere else. I'm again going for very pretty. I might go with this like bathtub here. We can use our towels there from the bathroom kit along with some of these robes. For our toilet, we can use this one here. I'm just like adding little clutter things as I go. Like maybe we could add that there. We'll do our sink over here on this side. And I really wanna do another like fancy mirror. I've kind of been intentionally putting like a lot of mirrors in this build. Of course, we're gonna add yet another fashion photo. And for the frame behind these ones, I'm just using my paranormal picture and I'm just lining them up like behind it because I love this frame. <laughs> I might wanna maybe add a rug like underneath the bathtub there. Maybe with just like a plant over here in the corner. And there we go, we've got our preppy fashion bathroom. This is what we got going on on this side. And I feel like we can move into the bedroom and I can finally get rid of some of these pictures. Okay, what should we do for the bedroom? We could do like a fancy tile like that. There's also some of these fluffy carpets we could use from the pastel pop kit, but I don't know how I feel about this. This is the only thing from the pastel pop kit that I like question. I just don't know how I feel about the texture. But to be fair, like this is the fluffy rug from the industrial loft kit. And I don't know, texture is a little weird there as well. I'm gonna first find a bed. We have a lot of room here. So I feel like I could even do like a big closet back there. It would be fitting with our theme. So I'm thinking we could maybe do that. I'm gonna try that bed there from Discover University. For the end tables, I'm thinking we maybe use the same ones that I used in the other room along with the matching lamp. We can do maybe one of these over here. I love that like solid beige. Ooh, we can use this mirror. This is one of my favorites. And I'm thinking on this wall, maybe we should put a TV because we didn't have one in the living room. So we'll just mount a TV right here and your sims can watch that from the bed. We can maybe also add like a stereo in here. And okay, so far we've got our bedroom on this side all sorted out. We've got our TV over there, a dresser, but I do want to spin around and do this side over here, which I was thinking about either doing a closet or a makeup area or both. I was thinking about maybe using a divider here. This one is one of my favorites from City Living. And then we could use one of those like stand up platforms here from Get Famous. Because of that, we're definitely gonna have to put some more mirrors here. These are really thriving today. What if instead we did like some of these and we put like three of them? We'll put that in the middle there. And this is really cool because your sims can come on here and like model their outfits, like looking into the mirror. I'm lining this entire area here with shoes just in different swatches so I can put more of them. I'm adding a bunch of clothes over here on this rack adding some more clutter. Maybe with some of this like knitting stuff here, I can even add like a knitting basket. That way they can actually make their own clothes if they want to. And the final thing I think I'm gonna add in here is this vanity. I'm gonna use one of the same chairs that I used in the other room just to keep it all cohesive. Maybe I'll keep with this one too because it does have a little bit more of like the brown color. So there is our closet area. This is actually a really cool apartment. It ended up being a lot more of like a fashion-y glam kind of prep. Definitely intended for like a preppy sim in fashion school. Maybe they're like studying design or something, but very much giving off cutesy prep vibes. Okay, let's move on from here. We're going to go over to the next apartment and we're going to be doing this one in the back here. This is going to complete the entire like building actually. And oh my gosh, this apartment is huge. We've got the main room here with the living room and the kitchen. Over to the right is like an office slash gym. Very realistic. We've got a couple bedrooms over here and actually two bathrooms in this apartment. Okay, so let's go back to the wheel and see what we're 
gonna be doing. I think first we should spin for a color. So let's go ahead and see what we're gonna get for that. We get purple, uh-oh. So again, I think I'm gonna keep the layout in here. We're just gonna delete all of the items. Excuse me, please leave. And let's spin for the aesthetic. We're gonna be doing a purple cyberpunk. This is gonna be cool. Okay, so cyberpunk is gonna be a lot of neon. The purple actually fits so well. Like I didn't even look up purple on Pinterest and everything is purple. It's a lot of like techno stuff, a lot of like gamer vibes. We could do like a gamer apartment. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is change our flooring. We're going bright purple for the main room. I'm gonna maybe do like a dark purple for the wallpaper, at least for the main room. We'll keep it kind of like, <laughs> we'll keep it kind of natural. And I want this whole thing to actually be pretty dark. So I'm gonna be deleting a lot of the lighting in here, replacing it later on with like the purple neon. I wanna get my doors and everything all laid out. So for my bedrooms, I'm actually gonna be using these glass doors. I think they're actually tinted. And I was debating opening this up. So already we're gonna be bringing in the neon here. I want that to be like an open concept gaming room. So we're still gonna keep it like the office, but more intense. I'm already changing my lighting here to like pink. We're gonna do a little bit of blue, purple. Okay, pop off bisexual color palette. And let's start bringing in our basics. So I'm gonna start back here in the kitchen. Everything I put in this kitchen is going to be very like high tech. I'm gonna use the pricey fridge. I'm using the purple counters, but I think I'm gonna push them back so we get rid of that like lip there. And I have the room for it. So I'm gonna bring this all the way around to the back. We're doing purple cabinets. You guys are gonna be so sick of the purple by the time we're done with this. We're doing purple oven, maybe just a regular sink over there. I'm adding dishwashers. This apartment's gonna have it all. Those columns that I put on the other wall look really cool. So I'm gonna use these and I feel like they even give off some lighting. Instead of an island, I think I'm gonna do a bar right in the middle of the kitchen. And also with these bar stools here from Cool Kitchen. I'm adding these RGB lights all along the top of this thing. I'll probably be putting them along the bottom too. Oh, that actually looks cool. Yep, this is going around the entire apartment. Okay, I think we're good on lighting. I'm gonna start to add some of the tech stuff. So on this wall, I'm adding a bunch of these TVs here from Get to Work. I'm also probably gonna put another big one like right here. Actually, you know what? The TVs are gonna go everywhere and I'm not gonna have like a designated one that you would watch. We're gonna kind of just do like a very general seating area. Basically because you can see the TVs from all directions, not just one direction. I feel like we maybe need a bigger seating area. So I might delete this couch or even just like toss it in here with everything else that I haven't been using. And I think I might make a sectional with these chairs. Just like a massive seating area here with all our stuff. I wanna get video game consoles. Maybe we go for these lights here from Moschino. And I still have a little bit of room between the kitchen and the living room here. So I think I'm gonna put a dining table right there. I think I'm gonna do a long table like that. And we actually have a decent amount of purple chairs to choose from. So maybe we just go with like the matching one to the bar stools that we put. Oh my gosh, we need to get this in here somehow. Okay, this is where I'm gonna leave this room. We've got our kitchen over there, dining, our massive living room with all of these TVs. I wanna move more into the back part here. And as always, I've just been like throwing things in here that I think could possibly work, but I really wanna use this. If we can find that in a purple swatch, which I think we do have, we can still use our purple couch that I had. I'm gonna do that right there. Oh, we could even do like a DJ thing. Maybe that can go in one of the bedrooms randomly. This is is a big time party house. I wanna bring in a little more of like this cybery vibe. So over here, I'm gonna make a really cool like desk area. And this is where I wanna put my computer setup. So I'm gonna put it like right in the middle there. So maybe for this one, we can use like the big monitor, maybe like this egg chair here. And up above, I'm gonna use that lighting there from City Living. Okay, this is kind of becoming a lot in here. So I'm gonna walk away. This is gonna be our computer slash like gaming room. I haven't built anything like this in a while on this channel. I actually did a cyber punk build like a really long time ago. I actually really enjoy doing like out of the box kind of builds like this from time to time. So for this room, I feel like I'm gonna turn this into like a bedroom slash DJ room. I might only have room for a single bed though. So I'm gonna put that over here. This could potentially be like a guest room. Like you crash here if you want. It is probably kind of weird to have a bed in here, but I don't know about you guys. My Sims get tired when they're partying and I hate it. They always end up napping on like a bench or something. So to be fair, it kind of works out. I'm adding this purple mirror over in the corner here here, adding a little bit more of a tech vibe with this weird Strangerville display. We could even add some fairy lights in here. Ooh, I forgot about this here from City Living. Okay, that's coming in here. We're treading now on like too much territory. Oh, I forgot about this light too. Okay, wait, we're bringing that one in this bedroom. <laughs> some of these like city lights could be cool in the other room. Okay, I need to come back, finish this. I'm adding our closet in here so our guests can have somewhere to put their clothes. This is so funny and random, but I mean, is it really going to be a Sims party? 
party if there's not someone passed out on the floor? No. Okay, so this is bedroom number one, our guest bedroom slash like DJ room. It's pretty cool. I feel like this would make such a fun like house party home for the Sims. I had to make some adjustments to my living room because I realized that we still didn't have a door going into this bathroom and to the bedroom. So I think I'm gonna try and do this bedroom here in the back now. This one is gonna be our main room. So we need to make sure we have like a big double bed in here. And I have this idea. It might look kind of weird in here, but I'm gonna use these pool illumination lights. I'm gonna make a pattern that looks kind of like a motherboard on a computer. So just going all along the floor here. And then on the edges, I'm gonna be using these lights from the Desert Luxe kit. You could also use the ones from Base Game, but we're just gonna connect these onto all of the ends. Instead of putting a rug in here, I feel like that's gonna look so cool. We are obviously completely past to the point of no return with the too much jean here. So the final thing I need is a dresser. I think I'm gonna put that on this wall. I wonder how many TVs we have in here. Probably at least over 10. I'm gonna use one of the purple dressers over here from base game on that side. Maybe with some more last minute purple items. Ooh, there's a purple streaming drone. I'm gonna raise that up and put that on my dresser. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to stop here. We've got our bedroom number two on this side. I absolutely love the flooring that we decided to go with. And at this point, to be honest, I had been building for a while now and my eyes were literally starting to hurt from all this neon. This place is definitely living up to the fact that it was built for a good time, not a long time. I went ahead and did the bathrooms off camera because as cool as this is, it is really starting to bug my eyes. So we've got a really big bathroom in here. It has everything, multiple sinks, the robot toilet. We have a shower over on this side and a bathtub. Then over here on this side, I did another one. This one's more just for like the bedroom, but we've got the robot toilet again, a shower in here, a lot less going on in here than the rest of the rooms. But I think this really turned out cool. It was fun to do something a little bit different as well. Very opposite builds that we did today. Let me know which one was your favorite down below. Did you like the preppy one? Did you like the cyberpunk one better? I don't know if I'm gonna continue on doing the rest of the apartments here, but let me know if you guys wanna see me do more of these. And if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.